Hey, my name is John. I'm a technician with the racing department here at Acronis. Today, I'd like to demonstrate to you how easy it is to set up an integration between the Acronis Data Cloud and the Autotask Professional Services Automation Platform. Acronis Data Cloud is an innovative platform targeted at managed service providers and resellers who would like to provide their customers with high quality data services such as backup, disaster recovery, and secure file sync and share services. In turn, Autotask Professional Services Automation is a business management platform specifically designed for managed service providers. It integrates CRM, service desk, contracts, projects, billing, reporting, and other services and makes them accessible anytime, anywhere. By setting up an integration between Acronis Data Cloud and Autotask PSA, a managed service provider can get the best from both worlds. It allows for provisioning and management of Acronis Data Cloud services from the Autotask user interface. Let's imagine a managed service provider that has been using Autotask PSA and wants to further differentiate themselves in the market by providing sophisticated data protection services for its customers. Therefore, it selects Acronis Data Cloud as one of the most advanced and reliable data protection solutions available on the market. First, I'll show you step-by-step -step how the MSP can adjust the settings of both products to make them work together. And then I'll demonstrate for you how the MSP can manage Acronis Data Cloud backup services directly from the Autotask user interface. So let's start with the settings. We assume our managed service provider has already signed up for the Acronis Partnership Program and activated its Acronis Data Cloud account. Moreover, it has an active Autotask account as well. Log into the Autotask account and navigate to Admin and then Features and Settings. Open the drop down section that says Products and Services and click on Services. Let's create three new types of services that the MSP is going to provide to their customer backups of physical servers, backups of physical workstations, and backups of mobile devices. Thus, press the New button and provide all the information that is required, such as the service name, description, period type, and unit. Press the Save button and return to the previous screen. Repeat the same procedure for the remaining two services. Finally, we need to create one more service type, a cloud storage service to store backups. As the next step, we will create a new contract with the customer's company. Thus, navigate to New, then Contracts, then Recurring Service. Specify all the required information for the new contract, such as the name of the contract, the name of the customer's company, the start and end dates of the contract, Press the Next button and proceed to the next screen. In order to add a new service, press the corresponding button and select all the service types that you are going to provide to the customer. Okay. 
Click Save Selections to proceed to the next screen. Here you can change the default values for unit cost, unit price, number of units on each service if needed. For instance, if the customer company has one server, two Windows machines, and one mobile device, amend the default values accordingly. Let's leave all the remaining settings at their default and save the contract. As soon as the contract is created, it can be easily found using the standard search function. Just go to Contracts, then Search, then Contracts, and use the account name or other keywords to find the desired contract. Let's look at the Acronis Data Cloud settings now. Thus, log into the Acronis Data Cloud Management Portal, and navigate to Settings and then Integration. In the list of available integrations, select Autotask. On the Login tab, provide the Autotask username and password, and press Save to connect to Autotask. After login, navigate to the Billing and Provisioning tab. Tick the Enable checkbox to activate the Billing and Provisioning feature. Let's map the existing Acronis services provided within the Acronis Data Cloud Platform to their corresponding Autotask services. Our customer company has one server, two Windows machines, and one mobile device. Thus, we need to make a map of the services related to the physical servers, physical workstations, and mobile devices. Moreover, we need to map also cloud storage services to enable the storage for the customer's backup. At the moment, only one storage service can be allocated for all the backup services. If the services are not mapped and free provisioning is disabled, the corresponding offers will be disabled. If the services are mapped and free provisioning is disabled, the corresponding offering will be provided according to the Autotask contract and the backup plans will be created in the Acronis Data Cloud. If the services are mapped and free provisioning is enabled, the corresponding offer will be provided according to the Autotask contract, if the service is included with that contract, and backup plans created in the Acronis Data Cloud. Press the Apply button to save the changes. In the section marked Group Provisioning, the MSP can create an admin account. We recommend selecting Account Primary Contact as an option only if the primary contact specified in the Autotask contract is not a top manager. Otherwise, it's advisable to select Account Name and provide an email address of the key account manager or IT specialist who will be in charge of all the admin issues related to this customer's companies. A password for the admin account can be specified manually or generated automatically and submitted to the admin's email. In the section Group Deprovisioning, it's advisable to enable the option Setting Quotas to Zero if an account does not have active services. In this case, if the auto task contract is over, the corresponding Acronis Data Cloud services will be disabled. Press the Apply button to save the changes. Finally, navigate to the Ticket Synchronization tab. Here you can enable automatic creation of Autotask tickets for Acronis Data Cloud alerts. Tick Enable in the checkbox to activate the Ticket Synchronization feature. For each of the alerts, you can change the type of alert, its status, priority, and due dates. Based on the good practices of our partners, we recommend amending the following settings. First, you might want to disable mapping for activities succeeded with warnings to eliminate excessive warnings that in most cases are false alarms. Secondly, it's reasonable to specify the conditions for creating new tickets for the same or a similar alert. For example, if a customer's backup has failed, the system creates a ticket in Autotask. This ticket is processed by the MSP and the issue is marked as resolved. 
However, in a couple of days, the situation repeats. Thus, the MSP can consider this a new issue or as an indicator of a problem that has not been completely solved in the past. Navigate to the Group Mapping tab. Here you can view, configure, and remove mappings between Autotask accounts and Acronis Data Cloud groups. Selecting the desired customer company in the list and choosing one of the options displayed on the right side. If the customer company already has a profile in Acronis Data Cloud, click on Map to Existing Group. Otherwise, select Provision New Group. Select the appropriate business partner and customer from the drop down list and press the Map button to finalize the mapping process. Press the Apply button to save the changes. That's it with the settings. Are you eager to see how it works? Well, let's have a look. We assume that the MSP already added all the required devices to the customer's profile and installed the backup agent on those devices. Let's create a backup plan for one of the Windows machine and start it. Oops, we got an alert that the backup failed. Let's switch to our Autotask now and see what's happening there. Thus, log into Autotask and navigate to Dashboard and then Service Manager. As you can see, the system created a new ticket that contains all the technical information about this issue. The information was automatically imported from the Acronis Data Cloud. Thus, the MSP can allocate the required resources and promptly resolve the issue. It should be noted that the synchronization process between Acronis Data Cloud and Autotask PSA might take 15 to 20 minutes initially. The Acronis Data Cloud is integrated with many platforms as services, such as Microsoft Azure, ConnectWise Manage and Automate, Kaseya, WHMCS, and many others you have the opportunity to try our innovative platform right now. Just go to our website at www.acronis.com and request a trial account for our Acronis Data Cloud.